and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making one of our nesting baskets and this is our medium to large size basket. And for this project we're going to be using size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn. And I'm just using the Big Twist Value brand and the color is cream. And I'm going to be using a size G or 6 or 4 and a quarter of a millimeter crochet hook but you can use any crochet hook that you have lying around as long as it's close to this size. And this basket tutorial video does have a precursor and that is my how to crochet a flat circle using the single crochet stitch. And I will link to that in the description. And for that precursor video, I crocheted 24 rows of my single crochet stitch. My last row has a total of 144 stitches. And the pattern for the first row of our basket is going to be to chain one and then we're going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of that same stitch that we just worked. So right here. And we're going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch in our row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch as well as your chain one. And we're going to place a slip stitch in our first single crochet stitch. From here, we're going to chain one and place a single crochet back in that same stitch where we just placed our slip stitch. And then we're going to place one single crochet in the full stitch of every stitch in our row. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch as well as your chain one, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet stitch. And for this next row, we're going to be working in the top portion of our last row of single crochets, as well as these front loops that we created in the previous row. So to get started, we're going to locate our current front loop, which is directly below where we placed our slip stitch. So right here. Then we're going to skip a front loop and we're going to place a triple crochet in our next front loop right there. So to do that, we're going to yarn over twice and insert our crochet hook in that loop. Then we're going to yarn over and draw up through that loop. And then we're just going to yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we finish out our stitch and only one loop remains on our crochet hook. And from here, we are going to place a single crochet in our next three stitches. So right here. And this is in the top portion of our last row. From here, we're going to begin the repeatable part of our pattern. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over twice, and then you're going to insert your crochet hook back in this same loop where we just worked. We're going to yarn over and pull up through that loop and then yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. And once you have two loops on your crochet hook, then we're going to skip three of our front loops. So one, two, three. And in this fourth front loop, we're going to yarn over and insert our crochet hook. Then we're going to yarn over and draw up through that loop yarn over and drop two loops, and then yarn over and drop three loops. And that will complete that stitch. And from here, working back up in this top portion of our stitch, we're going to insert our crochet hook and place a single crochet in our next three stitches. And you'll notice that we are going to be skipping some stitches occasionally, but the main thing to focus on is that you're framing your current loop with single crochets. So right here. So when you're done placing your three single crochet stitches, you should be a stitch or two beyond where your loop is. So right here. And from here, we're just going to continue to repeat that pattern going around our row. So I'm going to show you one more time how to do that. So you're going to begin by yarning over twice and inserting your crochet hook in that same loop where we just worked. Yarn over and pull up through the loop yarn over and drop two loops at a time until two loops remain on your crochet hook. From here, we're going to skip three of our loops and in that fourth loop, we're going to yarn over and insert our crochet hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull up through that loop, yarn over and drop two loops, and then yarn over and drop our remaining three loops. 
Again, working back up in the top portion of our row, we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches. So again, we're just going to repeat that until we get to the end of our row. To place the last stitch of this row, go ahead and yarn over twice and then insert your crochet hook back in that same loop where we just worked. Again, yarn over and drop that loop, yarn over and drop two loops at a time until you have two loops remaining on your crochet hook. From here, you're going to yarn over and insert your crochet hook up underneath that first triple crochet. So not the top portion of the stitch, but the stem that forms it. And we're just going to yarn over and drop all the loops on our crochet hook for a slip stitch. And then from here, we are going to slip stitch into the top portion of that triple crochet. Just like that. And for our next row, we are going to chain one and then we're going to place one single crochet back in that same stitch where we just worked. And then we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And at the end of our row, we are going to skip our slip stitch and our chain one and slip stitch in the top of our first single crochet stitch. And from here, we're just going to repeat that last row again by chaining one and placing a single crochet in that same stitch and then placing one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And again, we're going to skip our slip stitch as well as our chain one and we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet stitch. For our next row, we're going to be working in the top portion of our stitch as well as in these peaks that we formed from our previous crisscross section. To begin our pattern, we are going to yarn over twice and then insert our crochet hook up underneath the two stems that form our first peak. Yarn over, pull up through those stems and then we're going to yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. And once you have your two loops, then you're going to yarn over and insert your crochet hook up underneath the stems that form your next peak right here. Then we're going to yarn over and drop the peak, yarn over and drop two loops, and then yarn over and drop three loops. So we're basically repeating the pattern that we had for our front loops, only we're repeating it up underneath these peaks that we formed. Then from here, we're going to again, try to frame our peak with single crochets. So working in the three stitches directly above your current peak, you're going to place one single crochet in each of those three stitches. And again, this does not have to be perfect, but as close as you can get to those three stitches each time will make your pattern look a little bit better. So from here, I'm going to begin the repeatable part of my pattern. And we're going to begin that by yarning over twice. Then we're going to insert our crochet hook back up underneath these two stems where we just worked. Yarn over and drop the stems and then yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and work up underneath the two stems that form our next peak yarn over and draw up through those two stems, yarn over and drop two loops, and then yarn over and drop three loops. And again, we're going to try to work in the three stitches directly above our current peak, and we're just going to place one single crochet in each of those three stitches. And that is it. You're just going to keep repeating that along your row. So I'm going to show you that one more time. We're going to begin by yarning over twice and then we're going to insert our crochet hook up underneath the two stems that form our current peak. Yarn over and pull up through the two stems and then yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. Then we're going to yarn over and work up underneath the two stems that form our next peak. Yarn over and draw up through those stems. Yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop three loops. Then again, working back up in the top portion of our stitch, we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches, and these should roughly be above our peak. And to work the last stitch of this row, go ahead and yarn over twice and then insert your crochet hook up underneath this last peak that you just worked. Yarn over and draw up through the peak, 
then yarn over and drop two loops at a time until you have two loops remaining on your crochet hook. From here you're going to yarn over and then you're going to insert your crochet hook up underneath the first peak that you worked in this row. Yarn over and draw up through the peak and then work the stitch like normal. So yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop three loops. And from here we're just going to single crochet into our next three stitches just like we've been doing. And from here we are going to slip stitch into the top of our next stitch right here. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to place a single crochet back in that same stitch that we just worked. And then we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row, just like we've been doing. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch as well as your chain one. And you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet stitch. And from here we're going to chain one and place a single crochet back in that same stitch where we just worked. And then we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch and your chain one and slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet stitch. So from here we're going to repeat those last three rows to build the body of our basket. So for our next row, we're going to work in the top of each of our peaks, and then we're going to place two rows of single crochets. And we're just going to repeat that set until we've built the body of our basket. And I went ahead and followed that pattern until I had a total of 15 of these intersections here. And from here, I'm just going to repeat the pattern for my single crochet rows, but instead of doing it twice, I'm going to repeat it five times. And I went ahead and placed five rows of placing my single crochet stitches just like I was doing before. So now we're going to build our handles. So to build your first handle, you're going to chain 19. And then we're going to skip 19 stitches and place a single crochet in our 20th stitch. And then we're going to place one single crochet in our next 52 stitches so that we have a total of 53 single crochet stitches. And once you have your 53 single crochets in place, then you're just going to chain 19 again. And then we're going to skip 19 stitches again and place a single crochet in our 20th stitch. And then we're just going to place one single crochet in the remaining stitches in our row and that should get us back to our handle and we should have a total of 53 single crochets between each handle. And once you're back to your first handle then all you're going to do is place 19 single crochets around the chain stitch that forms your handle. So I'll show you how to do that. Insert your crochet hook in the gap, yarn over and pull up through. Then just yarn over and drop your two loops. And you're just going to repeat that 18 more times so that you have 19 single crochets around your chain stitches. And when you get to the end of your handle, then you're just going to place one single crochet in each of the stitches between your handles. So you should have a total of 53 single crochets in between your handles again. And once you get back to your second handle, you're just going to repeat the steps that you placed for your first handle. So you're going to place 19 single crochets around the chain stitch that forms your handle. And then again, you're just going to place one single crochet in each of the stitches between your handles. And you should have a total of 53 single crochets when you get back to your first handle. And once you get back to your first handle, then all you're going to do is place one single crochet in each stitch in your row. And we're going to repeat that for multiple rows to build the body of your handles. So as you can see here, the stitches between your handle and your stitches between your handle should flow seamlessly like this. So go ahead and place one single crochet in each stitch in each row to build the body of your handles. And I went ahead and added five rows of single crochet stitches to my handles. And so from here, I ended my last row about 10 stitches before my first handle. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to place one slip stitch in our next 10 stitches. And then we are going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I am going to weave my tail down the inside of my basket. And please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.